say thank you for tuning in and uh, for taking time out of your day to watch me ramble on about my world. Okay, so I'm here for two reasons today. The first reason is to correct the error I made in one of my previous videos when I reviewed this wig. This wig is called Bobby, not Brooke. When I reviewed her the first time, I kept calling her Brooke. Uh, the reason that I did that was because when I went to Lady Day Wigs in Manhattan and asked for Brooke, the sales lady came back out and gave me Bobby. And since Bobby looks so much like Brooke, then I just went with it. But I'm not mad about that because, you know, I'm happy with that wig. This wig is really nice. I'm enjoying it. It's nice, fluffy and bouncy. Bobby is a little longer and I do like long wigs sometimes. But um, overall, I'm happy with this purchase. The other reason is to do the ponytail tutorial that I promised you in that same video. Okay, so let's begin. You're probably wondering why I took my wig off to do a ponytail tutorial. Well, I'm using an older wig to do my ponytail. And in fact, I'm using Brooke. So you get to see Brooke, but she's old now. But that's okay, she still looks good. She's still a dope girl. Brush her out really good. Um, let me talk again about these high end. Talk a little bit again about these high end wigs, synthetic wigs. I really like them, I really like them. This wig is over a year old and she's still in good condition. If I had bought like a free dress or some other, you know, lesser brand, it would have lasted me like a month, maybe two at max. Okay, that's not true because every now and then we do come across for some reason a Harlem 125 that just lasts unusually long. Okay, so this is what Brooke looks like after a year and a half of wear. She's not so bad. I like her. Even at a year and a half old. Okay, but I'm not going to take too much time up today. I don't even have that much time. I have to get going. But okay, so I'm going to glue her down because I cannot really style a wig until she's glued down. Let's get her glued down real good. And oh my God, it is so windy outside. This morning I took the kids to school. And woo, I sure wished I glued my hair down that time. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't run into any accidents. Came inside real fast before. Those 40 mile per hour winds just took my hair with it. A little bit more glue here. Okay. So really fast. Oh, you know something? Let me tell you something. I talked to a friend of mine yeah, a couple days ago. Adrian. Hey Adrian, what up? Hopefully you're watching. <laughs> I talked to Adrian. A couple days ago, he calls me up and he's like, oh my God, Jackie, I'm so, oh, I have my hair tie on my wrist. That's why I use, I like to use these fabric hair ties because they don't pull the hair out. And you know, wigs are a little bit fragile, so you don't, your own hair is really fragile. You never want to rip your hair out. So yeah, I use one of these guys from Goody. And um, anyway, so he says, Jackie, I'm so proud of you. I remember a time when you, so I'm brushing it all back, and it looks crazy right now, but I don't care. We're not gonna concern ourselves with how crazy or fake it looks at this point. We're just getting it into that ponytail. You know something? I didn't glue it down enough. It's coming off. So he says, I'm so proud of you. I remember a time when you would never take your wig off in front of anyone. 
And I'm, I mean, of course, I'm eating up his compliments because not everybody likes a compliment, right? But I have to stop and think about it. I'm like, well, what changed? He's right. I remember a time when I would not dream of showing anyone my um, bald head. These straps. Let me tighten them up a little bit. But, so I thought about it for a little while. Why am I showing the world my bald head? It's weird. I've been bald since I was 12 years old and I never show people my wig. I mean my bald head. And all of a sudden now I want to display it to the world, right? Okay, so I thought about it and I realized the reason why I was okay I am now okay showing you guys my head is because I stopped trying to love myself. I stopped. I gave up. I quit trying to love myself. And I know that sounds crazy. But I'm going to explain it to you. Rather than love myself, I decided to be responsible for myself. People talk about love and self-love like it's this magical thing that you're that that just makes everything better. You know? This love thing, love is patient, love is tolerant. Love is kind and fair. I don't know, I am not tolerant with my husband, and I know I love him. I mean, I'm tolerant sometimes. I'm not an absolute beast. But he's not always tolerant with me either. And I know he loves me. Okay, and let's take another step. I can be very intolerant of my children. And I love them like crazy. I used to always go around saying how, you know, I like this person. I... I, I I love this person, but I don't like them. Like speaking about a certain family member or something like that. Okay, so now she's all the way up. And yes, she looks crazy in the back. Look at that, that's nuts, right? But don't worry, you're not gonna leave it like that. What you're going to do, and hopefully you can see me. Can you see me? Let me use my mirror to find out if you can see me. Oh, that looks crazy. <laughs> okay, but we're going to fix that. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're not um, pulling down the hairs. You're first, you're pulling down the unit. Get the unit all the way down as low as you can get her all the way to the nape of your neck, as far down as you can. And as you pull her down, the hairs are naturally going to pull out. So there you go. Oh, look at that. That's my tab. Now, if I had thought about it, I would have sold my, t my elastic closed. But that's okay, I'll just tuck her under. Okay, so I pulled her down as much as possible. Now I'm going to start pulling those hairs down a little bit. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, because I don't, that's not the look I'm going for with the whole lot of hair in the back. Okay, I'm pushing and I'm pulling. And it's not taking a lot of time. It feels it feels a little annoying and time consuming, but really isn't. Spending seven minutes on your hair is really nothing. It's fine. Okay, so she's looking better now. Let's keep pulling down that unit. And there. She's pretty much up in the ponytail now, right? However, it's a little messy up here, right? So we're just gonna go in and, I, I hope you guys can see, and pull, pull it taut. 
taught. I'm using that word. Brush her here. Brush her sides. Pull down something in the front. Now to be fair, I did trim away some hairs long ago because I like to always have something thinner in the front. Now obviously this is not the best ponytail I've done because I'm rushing. I'm rushing. I don't want to keep you guys glued into my TV channel for that long. Um, but it's certainly good enough to take me outside jogging, which is usually when I wear my hair like this, is when I'm going to the gym or I'm going jogging or on a windy day like today because I don't want my hair everywhere. And if it's windy, you guys really don't have to worry. Once you put on this glue, you are in a good place. But you gotta get some glue. You know, don't be having your wig slipping all over the place. Okay, so there's our ponytail. Can you see it? Good. Okay, so what I was saying about love. So yeah, love is patient, love is kind, love is gentle, you know, all these idioms. Did I use that word right? Anyway, all these descriptions of love. Um, I don't know what that is, honestly. I don't even know what love is. I don't even claim to know what love is. I have five children who I am responsible for. I like them. They're kind of cool kids, you know what I'm saying? I have a husband who I'm responsible for. I like him. I admire the guy. I don't really know what love is. So for me to sit up here and spend five, 10, 15 years trying to love myself, I was wasting my time. What I needed to do was be responsible for myself. And that's why I decided to show you guys what I look like with no hair. Um, I owe it to myself. As a responsible person, I owe it to myself to stop hiding. What am I hiding for? Hiding is hard. Don't hide, don't hide. I mean, yeah, you wanna wear your wig and that is a form of hiding, but don't, don't let it consume your life where like you can't, you gotta close all the curtains and you won't let your boyfriend see your hair. Don't hide, you owe it to yourself. Forget loving yourself, you don't even have to like yourself. You don't have to like the way you look. I hate being bald, I hate it. I hated it when I was 12, I hate it now that I'm 40. I would much rather be able to just wake up in the morning and you know, be like one of those girls who just you know has hair swaying all over the place and I'm so dope, <laughs> look at me. Yeah, well that's not me. Um, and I'm, I'm, as a responsible person, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna wallow anymore in that misery. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna allow myself to wallow in that misery the same way I don't allow my kids to wallow in their misery and I won't allow my husband to wallow in his misery whenever he's miserable and it's funny because he's hardly ever miserable men have a different way of seeing love of like loving themselves for men that I think they all know that love is responsibility um, the ones who don't know that love is responsibility those are the guys who are having kids and they're not taking care of them and their kids are all confused and they're saying, daddy doesn't love me, daddy doesn't love me. Daddy doesn't have the capacity to love you. He doesn't, if he had the capacity to love you, he would be responsible for you because love is responsibility. So quit trying to love yourself. I wasted a lot of years and endured a whole lot of punishment from out external forces because I was busy trying to love myself. This society, this psychological society that constantly talks about self-love and uh, insecurities. Oh, what an insecure person she is. She's insecure and she, you know, she had a hard time growing up and, you know, her mom was mean and her dad was, was absent and, you know, and her teachers always told her she wouldn't amount to anything. 
And so therefore she's insecure and, you know, she doesn't love herself. When you realize that there's no, I mean, maybe there is some, maybe there are some people who are just in, I think I've, I think I've come across them in life. These people who are just so fortunate that they just have this innate love for themselves. They wake up in the morning, they feel great. They're always happy. They don't allow anybody to do them wrong, you know, um, but mm -mm, that's not me. And that's, and a whole lot of people are that way. That's why so many of us are in um, unhealthy relationships. So many of us abuse substances. So many of us don't aspire to our dreams as we should. It's because we're busy leaning on this idea of self-love and leaning on this idea that we are insecure. And so we're trying to battle our way out of this insecurity and trying to get this, this fake love for ourselves. Like one day we're just going to look in the mirror. We're just going to love the way we look. We're just going to love our big fat bellies. We're just going to love our, our, whatever, you know, the bald head. We're going to love, we're just going to love our hairy faces. You no, you may never love it. You may never even like it, but you have to take responsibility for your happiness. And that's why I'm here because I'm taking responsibility for my happiness. I hope that made sense, guys. And I'm not going to take any, of your time, any more of your time because it's 16 minutes, set minutes and 53 seconds into this show. So have a nice day, guys, and be responsible for yourselves. Quit trying to love yourself. If you don't love yourself already, you ain't going to never love yourself. But you can be responsible for yourself. I love you, even though I don't know what that means. Bye.